How are you guys doing today? Hello, and welcome to Starting Out Solitary. I am your Thursday host, Ashcraft. This is now week three. This week, I will be entering a viewer Q&A. Viewer Sugar and Oz asks, I have been interested in paganism for many years, and read tons of books, collected heaps of tarot decks, lots of crystals, etc. I have only just started in the last year or so, looking into... Looking into it as a daily spiritual practice, I have found that although I love Mother Earth, I am not fond of rituals, nor do I seem very good at meditating. I hold crystals and hold them and hold them and nothing. My question is, since I seem to be about as psychic as a brick outhouse, do you have to be psychic to be pagan? Because most of the books are written by people who seem to be very psychic have always seen dead people, etc. Just wondering what your guys' take on this is. I am very much looking forward to your channel. Much love and light to you all. Well, sugar, the short answer is no. You don't have to be psychic to be paid. There are Christians that are psychic, and I'm sure there's psychics that are of other spiritual beliefs or religions. And uh, I'm pretty sure there's psychics that have no uh, spiritual belief or religion to some degree uh, it's up to them to develop it in any way shape or form that they can possibly with crystals with divination uh, with whatever tools you really have available to, to you such as meditation but honestly there's pagans out there who aren't psychic at all the term psychic is really an umbrella type thing. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, I actually had to stop the video and go clear my head for a minute because honestly, like, I was overthinking this entire uh, question and I was overthinking the answer as well, and like how I should give it and everything, so let's see if I can do it better this time. You do not have to be psychic to be pagan. Although there are plenty of pagans who are psychic. But there are also plenty of uh, Catholics, Christians, uh, Buddhists, uh, Muslims, and so on and so forth and I'm pretty sure there's some uh, psychic atheists as well I do like I was saying before I do however believe that everyone is born with a certain amount of psychic ability and the reason I say that is because we ourselves are from source and Source is, I want to say, source is all that is. You know, like, for example, uh, source, let's say source is Mother Earth, and we live on Mother Earth, and we come from Mother Earth, we come from Mother Earth, sorry, tongue-tied, so that would make us part of her, so... Essentially, uh, the psychic ability would naturally come with that. That's how I see it, honestly. But, uh, since you're beginning in your path, since you are wanting to make it a, a daily thing, um, it, it takes a lot of practice. I, myself, I don't want to say that I'm psychic, but, uh, you know, it's like intuition or a gut feeling. Let's just go with that. Um, all my life, uh, I've had these gut feelings that something's going to happen, and not long after that, it actually happens. Uh, two good examples. Uh, back in 2009, um, 
the night that I left when I moved to Pennsylvania from here, you know, from North Carolina, I looked at my friend in the car as we're going down the driveway and I said, dude, something doesn't feel right. Uh, should, I think we should turn back and uh, get the rest of my stuff. He goes, nah, man, uh, it'll be okay. We'll come back in a week and get it. You know, when you're settled in and everything. And uh, three days later, the house burnt down. The fire started in my bedroom. Uh, another time, um, I was, I just, you know, I moved back to North Carolina and I ended up moving in with uh, some friends and my friend had to go to the doctor. I asked if I could stay. They asked why and I said, well, something doesn't feel right. They're like, well, you need to come with. There's a story there in itself. But anyways, um, 15 minutes after me telling my friends that something doesn't feel right, we run the car, well, they run the car straight into the side of the mountain and uh, I cut an artery above my right ear that bled from 11.30 in the morning to 6.30 in the afternoon when I was actually released. And I broke, uh, well, I shattered the ball in my left arm. That, you know, gives me the ability to lift up and things like that. And, I mean, no, there's been many cases in my life that I've had experiences like that. Would I call that psychic? I don't know. I don't... Honestly, I think that if you think that there is a part of you that is psychic, I would say go, you know, study up as much about it as you possibly can. You know, study about um, the mediumship abilities. Study up about... Really, I don't know. What else would it be? Uh, yeah. But as for uh, crystals and things like that, when I'm around crystals or when I touch crystals, I don't feel anything. You know, I mean, I'm still learning. Like, I don't, I don't feel that my path exactly leads towards working with crystals. Although I, I would love to give it a shot. Um, I'm trying to learn about runes. I have actually made two sets of my own. And, you know, with tarot cards and oracle cards, uh, I have not tried my hand at that either. Um, I have only officially been studying for about, how long, 18 to now. Uh-oh, brain stop. Six years? I actually had to count that out. <laughs> But, uh, no, um, I've actually officially been studying my path for about six years now, and I still have barely got my foot through the door. Um, as for you, though, just give it time. Don't rush anything, uh, just... Read as many books as possible, uh, research as much as you can online, uh, find someone else in your area who might have, you know, a little more experience with, uh, the psychic abilities and speak with them, uh, learn from them, like, when they notice their abilities, when they, uh, or how they started to, uh, mold their abilities or tune their abilities or whatever you want to call it. Um, but no, I believe that even though each and every one of us who follow uh, paganism, uh, I believe that we all have our own paths, whether or not we study the same books or read the same websites or talk to the same people, um, we are all supposed to find what we're good at, you know, you, you may not be good at, uh, mediumship, or whatever, uh, all I can really say is just practice, 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 uh, and as for meditating, um, I like to look at meditating as an art form in itself, uh, I have trouble meditating, uh, I, whew, boy, do I, I could, find, you know, the quietest place in the world with maybe, you know, the breeze from the wind or 
you know, the trip of the birds and maybe a stream or, you know, some kind of uh, guided meditation. It, my brain never shuts off. So, uh, so really it's, oh, that's one of my troubles. You know, I mean, if I actually could properly meditate, I myself would probably be in a better boat. But meditation, uh, it takes practice like everything else. So don't give up hope. I know you've been studying. I know you've been reading and all kinds of things. I guess it really goes along with studying. Take time and enjoy your practice and learn as you go. Uh, meditation will come easy to you. Uh, divination may even come easy to you after a while. And so will psychic abilities, I'm sure. If it doesn't happen, then it's not meant to happen. But you can still be pagan. As long as you believe in the gods and goddesses, as long as you, I mean, as long as you stay true to yourself and Mother Earth, you're, you're okay. And as for rituals, that'll come. I mean, I have my own issues with that. Uh, simple areas that I live in and uh, the family that I have, uh, I have to keep everything to a bare minimum, you know, maybe light a candle and say a prayer or a chant, uh, maybe burn a bay leaf, uh, write on a piece of paper, burn it, um, it could be as simple as a, a mantra. And as long as you have faith in what you are asking for, as long as you believe it will happen, then it will come back and it will happen. For example, um, the law of attraction, I mean, that plays a part in it too. I don't think you really need all these fancy things to do a ritual. You know, like I was saying, just a, a candle or, or even just spoken words, you know, that it's as simple as that. You put good out, good it, good will come back. You put negative out, negative will come back. Always try to stay positive no matter the situation. And when it's not positive, just do your damnedest to, you know, just brush it off and go about your day. That's something I'm still working with myself. And no, just have faith in what you believe in. Okay, you you really are. I think I've said that already, but you know I'm not one to give good advice. Never have been. On some rare occasions I can give advice, but I can never take my own advice. That's another thing. So really, uh, watch everybody else on this channel. Um, I'm sure they have better answers to your question. I'm sure they have an easier time explaining it to you and. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it, you know. <sighs> Study. Uh, believe. Practice. Alright, Mr. B, what are you doing? I don't know if you're a guy or a girl, so what? <laughs> don't sting me. I'm allergic, okay? Bye. Lost my train of thought. Be the best you you can be, and I'm gonna go. Uh, there's been a lot of silence and errors in this video, and like I said, just watch everybody else. Um, I hope I have helped somehow, and yeah, I mean, if anything, you've learned not to take my advice. Or maybe I've learned to give better advice in the end. I don't know. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and blessed be. 
one more thing uh it's totally nothing against you as a viewer but i just have issues with the whole psychic thing um there's been a lot of debate and drama on really just the whole term in itself and like i said uh i'm not the best to give advice i'm not at all equipped to give advice at least not this early in my practice and uh i don't know uh stay tuned and i might be able to answer the question a whole lot better uh in one of my own videos on my main channel uh rune ashcraft uh, there's there should be a link in the this uh the spirit box below so i'm gonna go and uh edit everything together so thank you for watching really thank you and really thanks for being patient and again I, I do hope I helped I seriously do so many blessings and uh, hopefully I'll see you around lay down Casper now uh, my brain hurts. I'm in my jammy pants. I'm in my jammy pants. Oh yeah. Jammy pants. Jammy pants. Jammy, 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 jammy pants. Damn you, Umbrella Corporation. You own everything. Aw, oh, damn, my cigarette went out. You are on the path you're supposed to be on. It's as simple as that.